Um, I want to talk for just a moment, folks, about um, the Virginia Interfaith Coalition. They're here today on the one of the issues they're here for is on the issue of immigration. And um, being from a county and a delegate seat where about a third of the population is foreign born, um, and the vast majority of people in my, or the vast majority of those foreign born people in my district are Latino, I want to speak for a minute about the Virginia Hispanic community. The United States Census Bureau estimates that about 29, uh, reports a 29 percent increase in the U.S. Hispanic population in the last decade in the United States. Hispanics account for about 50 percent of the total population growth in the United States. Uh, this has political implications. Nearly six million more Hispanics became eligible to vote, and estimates project about 500,000 more Hispanics to become eligible to vote each year for the next year moving forward. Um, Two-thirds of the Hispanic population growth is because they have higher birth rates in the Hispanic populations, which means this population growth will continue to grow even faster than normal, notwithstanding reduced immigration. This has implications for Virginia. This has been studied by the UVA Cooper Weldon Center um, just three years ago. Hispanics currently represent 6% of Virginia's population. That's 480,000 people, or the equivalent of about six delegate seats, um, or about two and a half Senate seats. The Hispanic population of Virginia has tripled since 1990. Fairfax County is home to about 25% of the Hispanic population in the state. Many of those folks live in my delegate seat. Hispanics now represent about 2% of Virginia voters in the 2008 election. 60% of Hispanic immigrants are U.S. citizens. 50% of them are under the age of 20. And those folks are going to continue to register. Virginia Hispanic citizens are overrepresented in the United States military, folks. They also, among adults aged 25 and older, 35 percent of Hispanics earn a college degree or more. That's a higher percentage than, average, than the average Virginian. Okay? More Hispanics earn college degrees than the average Virginian. The Washington, D.C. metro area, where, where I'm from, uh, is the leading affluent, best educated Hispanic population in the United States of America. Per capita, they have more buying power than any other Hispanic community in the United States. This was attested to, folks, by a brand new Walmart that brought jobs, opened up in my district about three months ago. And in that Walmart, when they opened it, they noted that the demographics within a three-mile radius of this Walmart, 40 percent of the population was Latino, and the food selection at the store reflected that. They brought bilingual signs to the store, and they also committed over 40 feet of shelf space to, his, to, his, to Latino foods instead of the normal um, four feet. Now let's talk about business for a minute, folks, because I know that's a big focus of us here. According to the 2006 census, Hispanics are opening businesses at a rate of nearly three times greater than the national average. The same census survey found Hispanic businesses generate around $345 billion of economic output in the United States, generating $1.9 million jobs, which I know we all care about, especially given the focus last session. Uh, Eighty percent of the Hispanic population in Virginia participates in the workforce, as compared with 68 percent of the average Virginians. This is because the 72 percent of Hispanic immigrants in Virginia are between the prime working ages of 20 and 45, which is nearly double the average percentage of all Virginians in this age bracket. Folks, the Hispanic community values faith, family, and hard work. They are a valued, contributing part of my district, the entire Commonwealth of Virginia. We welcome them to Virginia and our state capital today as part of the Virginia Interfaith Coalition Lobbying Day. Mr. Speaker, I have an introduction. Gentlemen, may proceed. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, Today I would like to recognize another organization which is here um, as part of the Interfaith Lobbying Coalition. That's the Virginia Hispanic Bar Association. Um, they're represented here today by their president, Juan Milanes, and, um, and Manuel Lieva, who's a member of the Fairfax County Bar. This bar association was founded in 1995. Today it has over 60 members. Uh, they are proud to note there are now two Hispanic judges in Virginia, one in Loudoun County and one in the city of Alexandria. They focus their organization on citizen tribes, educating the Virginia judiciary on citizenship and immigration issues. They also review local and statewide judges as part of the vetting process for judges. They provide pro bono legal services and advice to immigrants on a variety of issues. They also encourage professional development within the Hispanic legal community. And I would ask the House to provide them with a warm House welcome. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.